A prefab is a game object that is saved as a game asset. A prefab can be reused and is useful for maintaining a desired state for a game object. Any game object can be saved as a prefab. Prefabs are useful because you don't have to add components to a game object every time you want to add them to a scene. Take the following example. I'm going to create a 3D object and I'm going to create a capsule. You'll notice that this capsule has a variety of components attached to it. I want to add a new component, a rigid body. So I'll go to add component, physics, and then rigid body. Now I'm going to change and make this use gravity. I'm going to set it to false and I'm going to drag this mass up until it becomes a unique number, say 2.29. Note that there's no particular reason I'm doing this. I'm just making some changes to this component to demonstrate how useful prefabs can be. Now, in the, in the current way that I have it, the only way I could get another copy of this game object is by duplicating the object or hitting Control D. So in some way, I would have to copy this game object if I want another copy of it. In order to make this object into a prefab, I could click on this game object and then click and hold, left mouse button, click and hold, and drag it down here into my assets folder. This capsule is now a prefab with these unique values defined for its component. Now the most useful feature of a prefab is that you can change one prefab and it will change all of the other prefabs at the click of a button. So going back to what I said earlier, I now can instantiate as many of these prefabs as I want. And you'll see that they all have the same settings. But let's say I instantiate a third one and I change this mass to 10. I also enable the use gravity feature. Now I realize that I want these two capsules to mimic the mass and use gravity um, indication here that I've given to this game to, to this third capsule. I could go back and change uh, to make these changes manually. And with three game objects, this wouldn't be a problem. But when you start getting into having ten or even hundreds of game objects, it starts to become very monotonous and tedious to do this. For this reason, Unity provides you a way to make all of these changes at the click of a button. Each prefab you add to the scene is an instance or clone of the base prefab. Therefore, if you click on a prefab and then go to Game Object, Apply Changes to Prefab, not only does this change those values, so now we have a mass of 10 and we've enabled use gravity. For both of them, not manually, this was just totally by us coming here and going to game object, apply changes to prefab. If we go into our game library, our assets folder, you'll also see that the rigid body there in, has the use gravity enabled and a mass of 10. So when we instantiate it again here, our latest up to date statistics are there. You can also modify each instance and choose not to add the changes to every prefab. For example, we now have this fourth capsule here. We choose to not use gravity on it and to drag its mass down to 4.55. You'll notice that this change was not reflected on any of the other game objects. If we wanted it reflected, we could go to game object, apply changes to prefab. If not, we could simply leave this prefab as it is. Now, what the one bad thing would be is if we made another capsule and then applied, made some changes and applied all of the changes to the prefab. So one thing that we could do is go here to the one that we don't want to change its values anymore, go to game object, break prefab instance. You'll notice now that while these are in blue, these capsules, this capsule, the text here, is in black. So when you see the blue you know that this is a prefab which has a link to this assets game library. When you see here that it's black, you'll notice that this is a standalone game object. Prefabs are one of the most important parts of Unity.